a pat on your back. I don't look for that today. I don't need that today. I don't want that today because that's not brotherhood. Brotherhood is being there for your brother. If I call you at 2 o'clock in the morning and say, I'm having a craving that I can't shake and it's been on my neck for the last two and a half hours, what are you going to do as my brother? Instead of me not calling you at 2 o'clock and you find out that your brother's caught up in the dope house for a week and he hasn't been home. I need to know that I got brothers that I can do that for, as well as be there for a brother that needs to call me. So it's very important to have a brotherhood of truth, a brotherhood that's strong, that's real, and not hypocritical, not fake. Not just to be there to get some recognition, to get some type of pat on the back. True, genuine brotherhood has always been needed within the nation of Islam within our communities, within the church, within schools, everywhere, college campuses. We as black men need brotherhood regardless of what we worship, who we worship, or what we live our lives, the way we live our lives, from whatever pay bracket we come from, whatever financial bracket we come from. If you come from the slums of Chicago, or if you come from the middle class neighborhoods in Miami, we have one common goal and that is to raise our people. Brotherhood is very important. Brotherhood in the nation is very important. But brotherhood in our communities is very important. How is a brother that's going to go out fishing, talk to a brother that's struggling with crack cocaine, not be able to recognize that and turn him over to a brother in the nation, to a brother in the church that is battling with that and being successful with it if you can't be a brother to that brother that's struggling and know that you got somebody that he can be turned to or turned over to. We have to know each other as brothers. We have to be able to put our feelings aside, our differences aside and fight for one common goal. Brotherhood is very important but it should not be sacrificed under any circumstances. No. This is my last question for um, this part of our interview. Now, I remember when you got out the program, probably the same day you got out the program, <laughs> you were in the Greyhound, the Phoenix, I gotta go see my wife and children. But a few it weeks, was the same day. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember. Yes. I remember because I didn't get a chance to see you. Yes. I was like, where my brother go? Yes. But a couple of weeks later, I was in California for a week spending time with my father. And I remember you, we, we were communicating back and forth. And he's like, you still out there, brother? I'm like, yeah. A couple of days later, but you still in California? Hey, brother, when are you coming back? Brother, I'll be out there soon. I'll be out there soon. Getting close to that last weekend, I was out there. He was like, brother, you still in L.A.? I said, yes, sir. Well, brother, I'm on my way out there right now. I was like, I ain't gonna lie, brother. I was like, oh, okay, sure. You know, I've heard that before. And then you, you thought I was playing with you. So you, you called your wife up. Yo, baby, you want to go, you know, sis, you want, you, you want to go to California? You want to go to L.A.? And all I heard, I can hear in the back of the say, sure, yes, sir, let's go. Next time I remember, you was on the road to California calling me a couple hours later and saying, brother, I need you to um, book me a hotel. We on the way. Knowing that you coming out of this program and you probably haven't got a chance to get your feet wet and get your feet settled, set your foundation back up, but you still want to make sure that you're building and strengthening your family. How did that help you going to California Knowing that that was your wife's and children's first time ever being on a beach. <laughs> I mean, just tell us a little about that story, brother. Brother, that was a beautiful thing. It was so spontaneous. We had just come across some unexpected, you know, cash, you know. Um, and I told her that I promised my wife that she wouldn't go to California with nobody but me. I would be the one to take her to L.A. And take her to the beach to see the Pacific Ocean, 